And I'd, it's my tremendous honor to introduce the director, Pete McCormick, as well as John Mann, the lead singer, Vince Dittrich, the drummer and manager, Matthew Harder, the guitarist, and Tobin Frank, the multi-instrumentalist from Spirit of the West. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm the director, uh, Pete McCormick, um, and I was, it was such an honor to make a, make a film with this um, beautiful band and, and uh, John's uh, incredible struggle with this awful disease. Um, just how these guys are just so great and they're such brothers and it was, it was just an honor for me. Um, and we're so excited and we're so grateful to VIF to, give a, to make it the gala film tonight. Uh, it's a real honor. Uh, it's been so great to be able to make a Canadian film, a, a film in BC, because of that magnetic force below the south of the border is always pulling us to do things down there. But it's so great to be here. I, should I? Do I give thanks to? Do I thank people right now? Sure, is that? Sure. Yeah, I, I want to thank uh, uh, yeah, Bell for helping us fund it, and Shaw Hot Docs, and Creative BC, and um, Echo Storytelling Agency. That's that's my wife, and she also gave birth to two children, so I owe her a lot. Um, <laughs> and. Um, uh, it's really, it's just such an honor to be here, John, and, and I think everybody knows what this, how much pleasure this band has given uh, BC and Canada and Vancouver over the years, and uh, I think that's it. I think, I think we're just really happy you're here. I hope the film moves you, and I hope you love them as much as I um, love these guys, and also I hope we beat that fucking disease, so... Yeah, yeah, well, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please stick around. There will actually unusually be a Q&A after this gala. Enjoy the film. I just want to thank uh, Viv again and the crowd for coming out and giving support. I do want to introduce the band right here. First of all, some good news. Uh, when the film was finished, Vince didn't have a kidney. He now has a kidney. <laughs> Um, Matthew Harder also has a kidney. <laughs> Beautiful John. Um, and uh, Jeffrey Kelly is, by the way, John and Jeffrey wrote so many of the songs, uh, and, and he's just an incredible, um, not a bad penny whistle player too, huh? Um, uh, Tony Pantages made that joke about uh, whatever the nickname was that he got, but when I met uh, um, Jeffrey's uh, son, he was five, and I walked, I, first time I ever met him, I walked up and he goes, he looks at me, he goes, hey, you're Pete McCornflake. So, <laughs> so it didn't stick, by the way. And um, this is Tobin Frank, who played 400 instruments and <laughs> pressed the button. Just a, an, an amazingly incredible band. I do have to thank my, my uh, uh, the um, everybody that, of course, everybody that was in the film uh, gave so much, so much heart to the film and for the interviews. But I need to thank. It was a very small crew, but I think some are here today. Um, the, my incredible, uh, my my incredible, but the incredible uh, Ian Kerr, who's a fantastic uh, director of photography. I think he's here. Thanks, Ian, as always. Um, 
Tony Kent, who I've done the last, my last three or four projects with, a wonderful, wonderful editor, and he tolerates me, which I love him for. Um, thank you so much, Tony. And um, I think Sean Tozer's here, who's done so much beautiful composing as he did today uh, on this film. Uh, he's a fantastic, uh, talented, uh, great, great friend and, and talent. And um, oh, and Andrea Clayback, who I think she's here too. I think she did the the color for the film. She did the color for about 400 films here at this. She did Hello Destroyer. She did Conalina. Just some beautiful films. So they're here. And and if I missed any cast or crew, uh, whatever, I, you know. But I do want to say one more thing before we get on the q and A's. I want to say how, uh, how always how inspired I am by um, the creative talent, uh, not only around me and these kind of incredible artists, but people making these films, like people don't understand how hard it is to get, just get a film done, let alone make it good. So I can't say enough about the, 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 the talent that I see all the time and how beautiful it is around here in BC. Um, it's really uh, amazing to me. And uh, oh yes, I, I forgot. I have to thank my uh, producers as well. Um, um, Cindy Harmon is here. She's been such a, uh, a right by my side the whole way. It means so much. Um, ben Murray couldn't be here uh, from Project Ten, and, and um, Andrew Barnsley from Project Ten in, on, in Ontario. They've been so great, and uh, oh God, this is how it works. But and of course, my beautiful wife um, uh -huh. threw in uh, like some money to help me keep going, and tolerates me, and she's just amazing. And uh, so is her company, uh, Echo Storytelling Agency. And um, is there? Did I, did, can anyone yell out and say you miss me, you prick? Can you someone do that? <laughs> Anyway, uh, so many people were just wonderful. And I'll, I'll move along, but I had to get those, those, uh, those thank yous in. Tell us about your journey, Pete. The journey, the journey. Well, I was, I was born in, no, uh, it was, um, I've known, I've known, I've known, <laughs> yeah, said, uh, I've known this beautiful band forever. Uh, I met Vince, Vince is a very close friend of mine in the, in the early 90s. Uh, they actually played on my, 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 I had a few albums when, when I had bigger dreams and bigger hair. And, um, and I've just known them since then, and, and they've just been great friends forever. And then a couple of years ago, um, talking to Vince actually about possibly making a documentary when we heard the terrible diagnosis of, of uh, John's illness. And um, uh, then we, I talked to John and his incredible wife, Jill, by the way. I saw that. Yeah. Stand, yeah, can you stand up, Jill? Where's Jill? There's Jill right there. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I, I, was so, I was so honored to, to, of course, interview the band and all the people, but to, to, to be there uh, in those most intimate moments with uh, John and Jill, uh, just, I was just there sometimes with my, my camera, and uh, I was always that way, actually, and that was humbling and amazing, and I really uh, can't believe you guys let me in there, so thank you so much. Um, but we just, you know, I, what can I say, that the band was just let me do my thing, and then I finished the film, and that's how it kind of went. Uh, they were just great, but uh, it was, it was a, obviously you can see it was a really, they're just, they're just like brothers, these guys, and, and I can't say enough wonderful things about who they are as people and how kind they are, and you know, I, they just represent everything that I love about Canada. All the best things about Canada are in this band, and, and also, of course, in the parallels to Tragically Hip right now, which is heartbreaking. It's, it's all too much for Canadian music fans, but nonetheless, um, should we move into question and answers? Because my- I'll move it to it. Time and tide wait for no person, and we have to release the hall. So, is there a question in the hall, or are we just going to leave on this beautiful buzz that we no, have? No, no questions. That I, I went too far, didn't I? Again, <laughs> again. <laughs> Sorry to the band. I don't know, like, know what to say. Know, I, I, did I thank Viff enough? Did I what? Terry, yeah. Um, uh, please have a, two questions. I don't feel like a terrible person. Uh, well, actually, the, the problem is, Pete, you made a film that's kind of complete in and of itself. They, I don't see a lot of questions out here. Please. Uh, let's hear it if we do, you know. We love you too. Um, before we get booted off here, I just want to thank Pete and Sam 
particularly for all the love and effort. Uh, I want to mention that Hugh McMillan, of course. Uh, yeah, he's not here, he's in Ontario soldering a friend or something. <laughs> <laughs> we, miss him, we miss him a lot. Actually. And uh, yes, I do do have a new kidney, and my kidney doctor, Dr. Naomi Glick, is in the audience tonight. Stand up, Naomi. Where are you? There she is. There she is. She's awesome. Now, one last thing. Uh, Tobin and his wife both um, tested to donate to me. And uh, it didn't happen for me, but Tobin is going to give his kidney to somebody else pretty soon. So let's hear it for him. You want to say anything, Johnny? I love you. I just want to say thank you to everyone. It's, it's very strange watching this film. It's kind of like a photo album or a scrapbook of our lives. And for most of that, I forgot where I was when I was watching it. I was sort of immersed in the whole thing. It could have been the wine we had before the event, but um, just wonderful to share with people here, especially in Vancouver, our hometown. And we're so proud of being a Vancouver band all these years. And it's, it's the first thing we say when we do a gig is, is we're Spirit of the West from Vancouver, BC. And we'll never forget that and never forget the support we've had for 32 years from you good people at all the wonderful venues across this town. So I, in a way, I just want to say thank you. And thank you to Pete McCormick for taking those photo albums and scrapbooks and turning them into something we can keep and cherish for years to come. So thank you, Pete. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete McCormick and Spirit of the West from Vancouver, B.C.